Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Just an update here on uh, Sundial. I've uh, talked about them a couple times here on the channel. Uh, they had the uh, nice run-up in uh, June and the uh, nice run-up in uh, February of last year. I was at the uh, all-time highs, and ever since it's just been coming down and hasn't been up above a dollar for quite some time. So they have until August to get this one back up above a dollar. A uh, nice dip there back in January at 43 cents, 47 cents here just um, about a week or so ago. And then it's just been uh, taken off. So uh, we'll see what happens with this one um, in the weeks, months to going ahead. But over the past year, down over 33%. In the uh, last three months, it's actually in the green. We'll just call it 23% in the last month. It's up over uh, 48% here in the last week. It's green again, so that would have been a good time to get in on this one or even an option. I think you can still do options on this one. And here today, so just been uh, kind of flat. Uh, but I've talked about this one numerous times. Uh, as you can see, I have still the same amount here. I just haven't added to this position, so I just kind of let this one go and working on uh, other accounts and getting the cost basis lower so it'll get back up to a dollar so if it keeps climbing I might buy some more but uh, yes I have not bought any more in this account so um, I have more than enough sundials so uh, but if you don't know much about this one it is a uh, MJ uh, stock that I've talked about a couple times right as you can see here founded in uh, 2006 a uh, huge volume on this one from time to time, I've seen this in the billions. Uh, it started uh, last week hitting a lot of volume again. So, volume of 205 million, the average of 154 million. That was probably half or a third of that about a week or so ago. But uh, it's just been increasing here lately. A 1.6 billion dollar market cap, 52 week low of 40 cents, and a 52 week high of a dollar 49. And here's a look at their next earnings on uh, March 29th, uh, which I believe is tomorrow. So uh, over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, currently showing this one as a hold and currently at 77 cents. Uh, yes, tomorrow is the uh, 29th. Uh, so Sundial up ahead of its uh, competition. This is just here today. So let's start up with the uh, current price of 81 cents. Uh, the stock rose vividly uh, during the uh, last session to uh, 0.8914. After opening uh, the rate of uh, 0.8659, uh, while the lowest price it went was recorded at 0.7117, uh, before closing at 75 cents. So again, I've talked about the Sundial uh, quite a few times. They've had a pretty dodgy run when it comes to uh, market performance. Uh, the one year High price of the company's stock is uh, 0.8914. That was on uh, 325, and the lowest was uh, 40 cents at uh, 124. So if you'd have got in there, and uh, two months later you'd have more than doubled your money, that would have been a good option. I'm thinking you can still do an option on this one. I haven't checked. So, uh, but their full year full year performance is probably uh, actually worse than that. Um, regarding the uh, run-up here as of lately, so I don't know if that's figured in or not, um, but not too great of a year performance, uh, but it did uh, create a buying opportunity for a lot of people, and uh, hopefully it'll run back up to a dollar and then some, and so I'm still holding, so. Uh, but here's why Aurora, Canopy, Kronos, uh, Sundial Growers, and Tilray are falling, and this is here today. So uh, shares of the uh, MJ stock, including Aurora, uh, Canopy, Cron, I've talked about all these. I think I talked about all of them uh, just last week. And Tilray are all uh, trading lower due to uh, profit taking from the uh, week's rally amid uh, news in the uh, United States House uh, Rules uh, Committee scheduled on uh, Monday afternoon, meeting uh, to prepare a, a federal MJ legalization bill for floor action. And I actually just did a video on uh, Tilray. Uh, so you should be able to find that uh, just released before this one. Uh, but several MJ stocks uh, saw marked interest on uh, social media during the last Thursdays after hours. 
and throughout uh, last Friday's uh, trading sessions. At the time of publication, uh, Tilray is trending on stock twits amid uh, Monday's selling pressure. Uh, MJ stocks may have experienced a short squeeze during last Thursday and Friday trading sessions, according to uh, data from uh, Benzinga Pro. Tilray has a short percentage of share float of 39.8%. Uh, Canopy Growth has a short percentage of share float of 19.7%. Um, here's a list of their how they have uh, been trading. So Aurora was lower 8% at $4.10. There's the 52-week high and low. Canopy was lower 10.5 at $7.78. A 52-week high and low. Uh, Kronos Group uh, trading lower 8.9% to $3.87. Again, the 52-week high and low. And Sundial seven and a half down to seventy five cents a dollar forty nine and forty Tilray trading at six point three percent lower at eight dollars and two cents Tilray is a fifty two week high twenty four sixty eight and a fifty two week low of four seventy eight so there's still money to be made on these if you uh, get in at the right time and uh, buy the dips um that's what I've been doing um although I haven't done sundial here in Robin Hood I have other accounts but um, I have enough here in uh, Robin Hood, so just holding this one, that'll come back up, but uh, you never know, I could buy some more, so just um, put the money elsewhere, so uh, like Google and Amazon on the dips on those, so it's been more profitable than uh, what Sundial ever has been, so, but uh, Sundial revenue uh, clocked, and you can comment there, whatever you want, I don't care, it's comments are all good, so it's all learning experience, uh, but Sundial revenue clocked in at $37.70, $37.70 million, up uh, 40.43 year to date. And uh, what's next? And this is dated here today. So the close of the uh, trading session at 81 cents on 325. The uh, day's price range uh, saw the stock hit a low of 0.7117, while the highest price level was uh, 89 point or 0.8914 company report on uh, March 10th so the fourth quarter of 2021 financial results on uh, March 29th 20 of 22 uh, so today they announced it will release its year end and fourth quarter financial results ended on uh, 1231 of 21 and that will close on uh, March 29th uh, so Robin Hood uh, must be right so I'd put uh, tomorrow on your calendar and uh, see what happens between uh, now and uh, tomorrow on this one. Following the release of the year and uh, fourth quarter of financial results, Sundial will host a conference call webcast 10.30 a.m. Eastern on uh, March 30th. Uh, so this one could um, have some volatility between now and the 30th. So we'll just have to wait and see what uh, kind of action this one brings. So... These numbers prove just how vibrant uh, Sundial Growers stock has been. Trading price uh, closed higher on Friday at 81 cents, 8.86 uh, higher than the uh, previous close. And again, goes over the uh, 52 week high and low. We've already went over that. So the market valuation of 1.53 billion at the time of the writing is expected to release its quarterly earnings. March 15th through the uh, 21st, investors' optimism about the uh, company's current quarter earnings uh, report is understandable. Analysts have uh, predicted the quarterly earnings uh, per share to grow by uh, zero per share this quarter. However, they uh, have predicted annual earnings uh, per share of uh, minus eight cents for 2021 and zero for 2022. It means analysts are expecting annual. Earnings uh, per share growth of 91.10% uh, this year and 100% next year. Analysts uh, have uh, forecast the uh, company to bring the revenue of uh, $26.39 million for the current quarter, uh, which likely uh, lows of $12.78 million and highs of $39.99 million. So this should be an interesting uh, week for uh, Sundial. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see between today, uh, the decriminalization, legalization, and the uh, earnings. So Sundial Growers legalization uh, should put shares above a dollar again. 
Shares of the Canadian LP uh, Sundial Growers uh, recently soared uh, thanks to uh, some positive legalization news. Could this be the start of a catalyst that pushes Sundial above uh, $1 again? Uh, we should all hope so. Uh, but if you're still buying this one, I would uh, watch it closely. So, uh, But MJ stocks are on the rise uh, with the MJ legalization bill uh, gaining momentum in the House of Representatives. Investors have been uh, snapping up shares of uh, pot growing uh, companies. Shares of Sundial went on a bullish tear uh, during the uh, March 24th trading session. They rose 23%. And then gained another 19%. So if you're looking to make some money on this one, should have got in. Arise from the uh, possibility of U.S. legalization. There are other developments that may push Sundial shares above the $1 mark. And here's a deeper look at the recent events uh, related to uh, Sundial growers. And here's a look at their... Um, products um, share should push above one dollar again so that's uh, definitely what this one needs so and again it just talks about how on uh, March 24th uh, following positive news uh, regarding the uh, federal legalization in the United States and I'll probably be doing a video on that uh, once I hear all the uh, full information come out about that one so over here on uh, reddit Three months ago, I was buying the beautiful dip this morning, so there was a dip, um, but I was working, so I missed it, um, so uh, it's unfortunate, but retail investor sundial, <laughs> that's funny, looking very optimistic, uh, so hopefully this one has a, a turnaround, so not a pump and dump anymore, time to get in, so. And over here on uh, stock twits currently at 77 cents low of 40 high of a dollar 49 bears can hit me with all the articles and dooms day theories yet I keep buying and holding just chill this is the perfect price for the next leg and there's a little bit of snoop action so and I get to go see snoop on uh, 420 in Lincoln so I can't wait for that so that should be a very good time very misleading House votes on it Wednesday, and it will most likely pass again. The bill was uh, passed in September, but it was never taken up to the Senate. Uh, same thing is going to happen now, so hmm. yeah, we'll see what happens. So Here, as you can see, it looks like they're all down, uh, just as I already went over, so... Talked about all these, uh, but the clever leafs. I haven't heard of that one, so I might have to look into that one as well. So expected to pass the house, uh, face roadblocks in the Senate. So panic and sell. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> Be great if Volcano posted earnings tonight. Earnings tomorrow. Previous earnings. Time of soaring. Over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing this one as a hold, and here on Tip Rank, still no ratings on this one, so maybe you got to get it back up above a dollar before they uh, do ratings on it again. I don't know. They haven't had ratings on it on Tip Ranks for Sundial in quite some time, but um, that's all that I have on uh, Sundial. If you have this one, go ahead and list it in the uh, comments. If there's any other favorite MJ stocks you want me to take a look at and do a video, I'd be happy to do that as well. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.